Hi friends, log on to my website fastbeam.com and talk to me on the forums. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. What's up, bitch? What's up? Hi guys and welcome to another vlog. I'm not riding this motorcycle. This is the TVS Apache RR310. It is a long-term motorcycle here at Motorbeam. We are shooting the Ninja 300 versus the Yamaha R3, and uh, that is the Ninja 300. This vlog is all about the Yamaha R3, and as you can see, they have given it an update earlier this year. The update isn't that massive. Can you please stop? Give me five minutes. So as you can see, this is the Yamaha R3, a beautiful looking motorcycle. Those twin lights look really very dope. Unfortunately, this motorcycle doesn't get any LEDs except for the tail light. Yes, the blue color really works on this machine, especially those rims. They are such eye candy. Now this design is in line with the R series design. And boy, oh boy, this motorcycle does look very good on the road. It looks bigger than it actually is. The tank is 14 liters. The fit finish is excellent. And as you can see, the tail is just beautiful. Yamaha logo over here, LED over here. Very bad indicators, doesn't get LEDs on the indicators, new tires as well well box section swing arm in 2018 really yamaha really nice finish on the foot pegs pillion seat has absolutely no comfort because there's no grab rail on offer you have to hold on to this strap and overall yes this is a very attractive looking motorcycle the fairing is beautifully sculpted tang guard over here and the lever is also very nice not adjustable as you can see when you turn on the motorcycle this does a complete swipe this is the shift light this is the gear position indicator this is a speedometer this is the average fuel efficiency and there's a clock over here there's a fuel meter over here temperature gauge over here and this is the analog tachometer telltale lights are over here meanwhile you can browse through this which shows you the trip meter and the odometer it has got twin trip meters and this is the real-time mileage as well so yes the console looks nice the mirrors also offer a decent view of what's behind but not as good as a ninja 300 and in order to help with the rear view visibility it also gets this convex mirror which has been put aftermarket obviously i love the design of this machine it looks very nice and very dope indeed i don't like the placement of the front number plate i would put it over here like i've done on my ktm and it actually misses out on a lot of hardware but honestly how is it to write well let's get on board first and foremost the seating position is nice and comfy and this is a motorcycle which will let you go on long rides without getting tired at all so there's the motor beam crew there's dhanil with the ninja 300 we have a rr310 over there we have an impulse over there we have the i20 and it's a field day happening over here but honestly i just need to get onto a good road and give it the beans so here we go all right we are all set to go turning on the motorcycle it starts with so much refinement into first gear visor down and here we go Red line still almost 13,000 RPM and there's good amount of thrust from this motor. It really screams to the red line. What an engine. Yamaha makes such a brilliant engine on almost every motorcycle of its. And now we are in fifth gear. Look at the thrust from this machine. It just pulls and pulls and pulls. What a beauty. I absolutely love this engine. And unlike the engine on the Ninja 300, the engine on the R3 just offers such brilliant low-end performance as well. So obviously it has good amount of thrust in the high end, but in low end also it is brilliant. And the brakes, they offer good amount of stopping power too. I mean, the feedback is very positive. And I mean, in first gear itself, it does 65 kilometers per hour. In second, it does almost 90. And in third, we get past 100 kilometers per hour. By the way, the Ninja 400 does 100 kilometers per hour in second gear itself. The motor is terrifically refined. Now, this is a 320cc parallel twin motor, 8 valve unit, DOHC, and it also tips into corners with a lot of confidence. I mean, yes, this is a Yamaha, so it has to have the DNA as well. This motor produces 42 PS of power and 29.6 Newton meters of torque. The low end performance is very good. In fact, it has good amount of low end punch. The power delivery is very linear and it screams past the mid range. This motor is so punchy that off the line it wants to wheelie actually. That's how punchy it is. So good amount of low end performance. So city rideability is also great. It feels very maneuverable in the city. Thanks to the punchy motor lower down. And obviously the light handlebar as well. Easy to flick this motorcycle. It's actually quite light at 169 kgs. It is lighter than the Kawasaki Ninja 300. And we have a jam here. 
and yeah it is so easy to get through traffic because this motorcycle is so easy to maneuver i love the way this yamaha behaves in the city i mean yes it does heat up but not before 30 minutes of riding which means that you know if you don't ride much in the city this is fine however i like it more than the ninja 300 in the city somehow because firstly the riding position is very great the seat height is just apt for someone who is of my height it also suits short riders so yes it does both quite well and the motor really pulls very nicely yeah the clutch is light the gearbox is slick shifting but it misses out on a slipper clutch unfortunately and the best part about this machine is the ride quality the suspension is on the softer side the ride quality is great as well it absorbs almost everything in its stride only on sharp sharper roads or sharper bumps that you can feel something otherwise for the most part drop a gear and disappear it really makes such a racket it sounds better than the ninja 300 too so yeah it does feel better than the kawasaki ninja 300 on multiple fronts but the ninja 300 handles better the handling of this motorcycle is good it's not the best it's underpinned by a diamond frame not a delta box frame or rather a perimeter frame delta box frame is yamaha speak otherwise it's a perimeter frame so cost cutting has been done it does have the r tag but it doesn't deserve the r tag because it's more like of phaser 300 or phaser 320 performance is good the engine is refined punchy top end and ride quality is very comfortable easy to ride riding position is good riding position is good but the only issue here i am facing is that it just doesn't feel so confident around corners yes the new tires from metzeller are much better in terms of grip offer a lot of feel and feedback as well but this motorcycle just doesn't like the corners as much as the ninja 300 or even the kdm rcc 90 which is absolutely stiff a machine this has telescopic folks no upside down folks over here and the fuel tank capacity is less at 14 liters and the mileage is also low at around 19 to 20 kilometers per liter active a squad and off we go so the r3 does remain stable at higher speeds i mean it's quite stable at higher speeds so it's a motorcycle which is comfortable and can munch on the miles it's like a sports tourer a tourer which can go the distance but you have to go alone obviously yamaha says arrive alone almost all the time love the brakes on this motorcycle love almost everything including the cockpit of this machine it's so legible easy to read clear and obviously the riding posture is also very nice and comfortable for long rides the riding position on this motorcycle is also very good you sit upright a bit of a lean here but that is just perfect on this motorcycle the mirrors could have offered a better view of what's behind all i can see is my arms and uh, you know i don't have biceps so that's kind of disappointing good performance really the motor is the takeaway of this motorcycle in fact you are paying the price for this machine only for the engine because this parallel twin engine is the real usp of this machine other than that the tvs apache r310 offers almost everything and more in terms of hardware and equipment so this one still uses a box section swing arm that's cost cutting for you in 2018 now i can take this motorcycle on the track and it will perform decently well not as good as a ktm rc390 but if anything that motorcycle has taught me is to leave track racing to amateurs although this one gets bar and mirrors yeah that's right bar and mirrors on a pulsar 200 yeah that's nice and yeah <laughs> funny because bar and mirrors don't look that good on a regular street bike it looks good on a cafe racer like a continental gt 535 although you know the mirrors just vibrate and fall off the new continental gt 650 is obviously way better but that's a story for another day changing lines no problem at all does it quite well so should you buy a yamaha r3 it costs rupees 50000 more than the kawasaki ninja 300 which is a lot of money this one costs 4 lakh 15000 but in terms of performance it's just brilliant it's faster than the ninja 300 it goes from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in just 5.8 seconds and has a top speed of 175 kilometers per hour which is v box tested on the meter you will see 188 kilometers per hour so yes the r3 is a brilliant motorcycle a brilliant machine offers a a lot but could do with even more attractive pricing and if you liked it make sure to give it a thumbs up that's a like button and also subscribe to the channel i will see you in the next video real soon bye bye